Hi there, welcome to Norfolk Wine and Spirits in Norfolk Whiskey Group. Uh, very exciting day for us. Yesterday we were uh, delivered two barrels, single barrel scotches. Our very first single grain scotch whiskey uh, happens to be a North British bottled by Mossburn. It's a single barrel Asian A, Beaujolais cask, which is a French red wine. And then the second single malt that we got from Mossburn is an Altmore, aged 12 years old, matured in a cognac cask. So both of these happen to be French oak. And so you know, tomorrow, which is Friday, May 27th, we are going to be doing a tasting at 7 p.m. And that will include uh, a entire Mossburn line, quite a few different expressions in which we'll have a space side blend, we'll have an island blend, uh, we'll also have some single malts bottled at 46% ABV and few other single malts bottled at cast strength. These particular ones are among a batch of 10 single barrels that came to the US this year. Uh, and it's the first time single barrels from Mossburn have been released in the US. And we're very fortunate to have two of those barrels. And very excited to have our first single grain whiskey. Uh, look at the color, it's nice and rich. Um, so join us tomorrow for this fantastic tasting. But beyond this, we're going to do something a uh, little bit fun, which is geeky and just pure experimentation. Uh, and this is going to be a three-part series, and hopefully some of you guys can join us for that. And this is what we're going to do. Um, because this single grain whiskey, Altmore, I mean, I'm sorry, North British, is 13-year-old uh, lowland whiskey, and it's uh, matured in a uh, Beaujolais cask. We have found a bottle of Beaujolais. Uh, 2020 uh, and we are going to take seven bottles of this uh, wine and we're going to put in a um, barrel to be seasoned so basically essentially this is a uh, five liter barrel and about uh, seven bottles of this will go in there about one third will be left which we'll taste and we'll season this barrel for a few days maybe a couple of weeks um, and then we'll take we will have two of these barrels in the second barrel we are going to take this cognac, Larson cognac. And we are going to take about six and a half, almost seven bottles and put that in the second barrel to season that barrel with this cognac. But before we do that, we'll sample that as well. So we know what the influence of the barrel might be. So that will be an experiment to be continued. So that's the first tasting tomorrow. Tasting Mossburn, Tora Bay, and also these two single barrels. Sampling this wine and adding this wine to a single barrel uh, to be seasoned, which is a five liter barrel, and then taking this Larson cognac and aging it, uh, also maturing that in a uh, in the single barrel to be seasoned for a few days. We will be doing a tasting uh, dinner or a lunch in a future date, uh, probably in a couple of weeks. And at that time, we'll have these two barrels with us as well. So we will take this, let's say 10 day mature uh, wine and taste it along with the tasting. And whatever is left over after the tasting, we'll bottle it, keep it on the side for a future experiment. And then same thing will happen with this cognac. We'll take this cognac, mature it for another 10 days, two weeks, whatever that uh, time frame might be, and sample that uh, during the tasting and the rest of the bottle will be preserved for a future tasting. So these two empty barrels um, will be filled with 14 bottles, seven in each barrel, of Toraway, which is X bourbon. So what we're trying to do is take an X bourbon, fully matured whiskey, put that in our own barrels, which have been seasoned with a uh, wine cask and seasoned with a cognac cask, and try to see the difference. The same size barrels, the oak is exactly the same, just to see what the influence of the seasoning is on that whiskey. So in the third tasting, which will happen uh, quite a few weeks from now, possibly three months, possibly two months, we can't say, we'll uh, monitor it to see how they are, they're maturing. And then at that tasting, along with the other, these single barrels, we'll be tasting the Torave, the Torave matured in a cognac cask, and Torave matured in a Beaujolais cask. Just a fun experiment, just uh, us to have some fun, because we've been doing this and it's, it's coming out really good so far in the sense that we done started with a privateer barrel, which we uh, bought in the winter of uh, 2021. And other half of the barrel is still aging and is gonna be bottled imminently. We also took a Blanton's barrel, which was empty, 
uh, and put 15 year old Canadian whiskey in there. Uh, half the barrel was bottled on uh, December 21st, which is winter solstice. Other half is still maturing at the warehouse and we bottled on June 21st, which is summer solstice, just to see the change of the seasons and how that impacts the whiskey. Already we have tasted that on March 24th, just to monitor the barrel and the whiskey is maturing really well in the sense that it's changed dramatically and it's a different whiskey. If you taste them side by side, you can recognize them. So this will be a continuation of the same or a similar uh, project, uh, a homegrown project. So uh, that's about it, but uh, hope to see you all tomorrow. Cheers.